Well it's Wednesday afternoon and it's October and I'm sailing on the Norfolk Broads in a 1920s half-decker. A lovely little day boat uh, from Hunter's Yard which is at Ludham and Hunter's specialise in maintaining and looking after uh, boats from that sort of period. Many of them they built themselves and you know it's an absolute treat sailing this boat. She's just such a class act. There's no engine in her, never has been, there are no problems and some of these rivers that I've been sailing on today are really quite narrow and when you have to tack in about well what is effectively three or four boats lengths and you're used to sailing bigger hefty cruisers on the sea you think to yourself well she's never going to go round at the end of the short tack she can't possibly gather enough way to tack but she does and she tacks on a sixpence and after the tack there's none of this Lee Helm shuffle nonsense she's away if it's strong wind she's sailing beautifully, if there's no wind at all she seems to ghost just the same. And I'm totally impressed by the way this boat sails, it's wonderful, a real treat. My wife's been up the front end there, operating the jib. We've just had lunch, sitting on the mud hook, uh, on the side of a river, dumped the sails on deck, had a nice pork pie which I bought from the shop in Ludham, first class boys, absolutely the business, and uh, I'm having a perfect day really, and it's a bit special for me. I happen to be here because I came for a meeting of the Association of Yachting Historians at Lowestoft at the weekend and we had all sorts of things to discuss. We had a great time really and an excellent dinner on Saturday night and I met some of my old chums. It was grand and I was so close to the broads that I thought I'd come and have a look round. And you see, I learned to sail here in 1961 on a boat that was not that dissimilar to this. She had a bit of a cabin but that apart, same sort of size gaff rig just like this and she too sailed a lot better than she had any right to really I, I was amazed I didn't know anything about sailing nothing at all my dad put me and my little mate Martin on a train in Stockport and, and told us to go to the Norfolk Broads they'd hired a, a boat for us him and uh, uh, my dad and, and my mate's dad from St Olaf's down in the southern Broads and we went on board this boat all we had was a book on sailing we knew nothing um, and how our dads got us the boat I don't know but anyway that was the way it was and we got on the boat and we taught ourselves to sail in this wonderful place and I'll never forget that first day when we got on that boat and it was blowing quite hard actually and we read the book and it said well put the boat head to wind hang it off the bow on one rope um, and, uh, and pull up your sails and, and then let go and off you'll go and that's what we did and I pulled the sails up and I couldn't believe how big it was it looked enormous to me because I'd only seen boats sailing along before, I'd never stood under a sail before and the noise it was making was phenomenal, Brrr, huge amount of racket, everything rattling and banging about and then we let go and the boat bore away, the sail filled, we pulled this sheet thing in and somehow got the tiller going the right way and we went booming off down the river, the reeds were nodding and the boat was silent as she was just ripping along and I thought well this is the best thing I've ever done in my life, this is what I want to do and do you know, I was 14 years old as I say and I've never looked back since then and to be here today sailing on this great, wonderful, traditional boat so well maintained by, by hunters for people like me just to come in off the street, hire her and go sailing. What a treat!